The Red River Sirens are one of Clarksville, Tennessee's sole roller derby team. The Sirens are beginning their training for their first bout of the season, a doubleheader against the Chattanooga Roller Girls. The first year, head coach April Baker has her work cut out for her. My real name is April Baker. Uh, my derby name is Violator. Uh, I became coach um, last season. I had an injury. Um, I spiral fractured my tib fib in my ankle and um, the coach that we had last season decided to skate this season so I took the position by default which I was TC last year anyway so it's kind of something that I wanted to do. Um, I had uh, issues in my life that um, I wanted to change. I was in a bad marriage um, and a friend on Facebook had said that they started a roller derby team and they wanted um, me to try out and you know I grew up here in Clarksville and I skated on this floor from the age of five so I was a little rink rat when I was younger um, so I decided to go one day and I and I watched them practice and immediately fell in love with it I was just in awe by what you know the hitting and the sportsmanship and the fastness I just it's something that kind of struck close to home so um, I got involved and immediately like I said fell in love with it and kind of took the place of all the bad that I had going on um, and it just it just has stuck with me ever since. Five, five years later here I am. Along with getting the team ready for their first bout, Coach Vader also has to train the new recruits or as she would like to call them, fresh meat. If you can stand up on skates, we will teach you the fundamentals of everything else that you need, um, which is stopping, um, taking off, getting in the speed that you need, hitting, proper safety techniques. And with me being coached this year, I make sure that I focus on the safety aspects. You know, derby is a full contact sport. It is a competitive sport. You know, you will, there are people that do get hurt. I've gotten hurt. Um, so I made it this year to where it was safety based techniques to where if you do fall, you know how to fall properly. You know, um, you know how not to take people down with you, kind of fall on the ball. Um, our training program is 90 days. Um, you'll start uh, skating, pretty much we have like an off skate that we start off the first couple of weeks that gets your body used to the endurance that you're gonna need for roller derby. And then we, um, the 90 day period after that, and then you will take a skills test to see if you are properly, if you're safe to be in the pack with other skaters. Um, and then after that, you're free range to get hit and play and all that fun stuff. So I, I definitely, I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for roller derby. It's actually life changing and I would encourage anybody to get out there and participate in the sport. With only six more practices left till the sirens play their first bout, training gets more intense with complex drills to improve stamina and balance. Kelsey Luttrell recently graduated from this fresh meat program. Now she is learning how to balance derby life while attending school at Austin Peay State University. I'm a sophomore right now. And, um, I put school first, so if <laughs> I have to miss practice, I don't like doing it, but I will every now and then. So I'm just trying to get through this school right now. Like after six months of, you know, it seemed like going in the fresh meat program and learning how to do everything, when you finally get your jersey, that was really nice because I wore it like every day, <laughs> like a child, because you earned it. So that was really awesome. We're the one who scores the points in the game. You have to get through the pack and you pass everybody and you get the points for the team. You're the only one who can score points. Um, it's been a big stress reliever. Just like I really don't think about anything else when I'm playing. So it helps me a lot with that because I have a lot of stress. So.
With four practices left till the upcoming bout, tensions are high, but that doesn't mean drills can't be fun. Krista Riggle, a.k.a. Bodacious Tatas, is one of these season's vets on the team. Her role increased this season to blocker, where she now practices with others and teaches them proper techniques before game day. I was there at the beginning when they started. I was there when we didn't have a place to even practice. My husband used to be in the military, and when he deployed, I left to go live with my mom, and I joined a team in Illinois. But, I don't know, I just didn't feel the same, mm -hmm. and so I came back to skate with the Sirens. I was gone a year, and I've been back ever since. This will be my fourth competitive yeah. season. first couple seasons, it wasn't so hard because all I did was skate, but now um, I have jobs on the team, like big responsibility jobs, so I have those, and then I have my son and my husband, and my house and I'm looking for a real job right now so it's hectic. Walker, I don't like to jam. I would rather do the hitting than be getting hit. With the bout right around the corner, Coach Vader has stepped up practices. Now they consist of mostly scrimmages, which means more hitting at faster speeds. Bout day has officially arrived. All of their hard work has prepared the sirens to fight, win or lose.
At halftime, the Red River Sirens lead by 59 points with another half to go. The Red River Sirens accomplished victory. All of their hard work has paid off. And this was only just their first bout of the season.